the guys from NSYNC, but that could change today because we're just 98 degrees. And we're taking over the show. Right now, it's DRL. your top 10 requests. We've got two TRL debuts and we've got the lovely Christina Aguilera yes. and also LL Cool J and Nia Long from their brand new movie In Too Deep. All right, right, right. Let's get to your request with Blink 182 who holds at number 10 with What's My Age Again right here on TRL. <laughs> Yeah, what do you guys think about Blink-182? You guys kind of like all the Anybody naked Blink guys freaking out? Are you enjoying that? <laughs> all right. And now we got to take a quick little break. But first, we want to give you some clues about your number nine request. These clues are, now Jeff, maybe you can help us out on this next one. But the three cues are magazine, poem, and surgery. Now if you have any clue at all which video that is, why don't you go ahead and give us a call at 888-311-4343. That's right. We'll have the answer. We also have Christina Aguilera in the house, Nia Long, and LL Cool J. What do you guys think about that? And the rest of the top ten when the Monday edition of TRL continues. Stay right here, right now. Wow, look at the beautiful skyline there. And yeah, New York City. New New York York City. City. Signs out there. Yeah, I see a lot of Drew signs out there. What's that all about, man? Well, you know what? There might be a little confusion, but actually, Drew couldn't be with us today. His pet German Shepherd, Luca, got sick. He had to go home and tend to that. He's taking it to the vet today. Everything's all good, but uh, anyway, a little bit of information there. Back to TRL. We're live at Times Square, and Jeff, uh, what's coming up next? Well, first, we actually have a letter from a TL TRL fan. Do you want to read it to us? TRL or well, TLR? Yeah, let me Red see here. This, uh, <laughs> this letter is from Amy. Uh, dear 98 Degrees, on January 18th, 1999, you guys performed at the Citrus Festival in Winter Haven, Florida, our hometown. I think I remember that one. It was a little fair thing going on there. Yeah, right. And uh, we really enjoyed meeting you all. Best of all, you guys were just as gorgeous and friendly in person. Oh, uh, how sweet. Wow. But you know what? We're gonna, let's, let's, why don't we call Amy right now? Let's Amy, give her a call. Do we have her number? Yeah, we have it. So let's, let's call Let's see. Her number is... Oh. I won't do that to you, Amy. I'm sorry. You have all the world calling your house. Hello, hello. And it's busy. It's, it's busy. Amy, get off the phone. Get off the phone. MTV's calling. You're on the phone. Tell Robert, whoever your boyfriend is, you got to call back. Come on, Amy. Try one more time. Try one more time. Come on, Amy. I know you're watching. There this time. Here we go. <laughs> Hi, Amy. Hi, Amy. This is Jeff from 98 Degrees. I just wanted to call and, you know, say thanks for the letter. We really appreciate it. It's very sweet. Right now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hang your phone up and put you on speakerphone so you can talk with both Nick and I, okay? Hey, hey Jeff. Yeah. You got to talk to your mic, man. Oh, okay. Here we are. We're gonna hang, I'm going to hang up the phone so you can hear both of us, okay? Thanks. All right, thanks. You still there, Amy? Amy, nay. Okay. okay. Hey, Jeff. Hey, Nick. Nay. Hey, hey, there we go. The beauty of technology, we finally got you. Hey, Amy, we, uh, before the break, we had a few clues uh, for our next video. We wonder if you could help us out with that. And uh, actually, we heard you had a picture that you sent in a, uh, of our experience in the Citrus Festival. Do we, do we have that? Yeah, let's take up? a look at it right now. now. Now, Amy, which one are you? Are you this one down here? We can't see we it. We can't see it. We're not oh, getting it. Okay. Oh, I'm in the orange, kind of. This is her right here. Oh, we there see we go. you. And look at yeah. Jeff's hat in this picture. I have a lovely hat. I'm it's wearing like your this Henry picture. Fonda on Golden Nick, why don't you ask Amy there? about the clues for the uh, oh, yeah. TRL Actually, clip. Amy, we, uh, before the break, we gave you a few clues about our next video, and we wonder if you could uh, help us out with that. Uh, the, the three clues were magazine, poem, and surgery. you have any ideas? What do you think? I have no clue. No clue? Anybody no else? Clue. The answer is TLC. A magazine shows up several times. The song is based on a poem by T-Boz, and the surgery for the scene is where a girl's getting her breast implants removed, and which we've is kind of... Kind of bad. I mean, we've had an opportunity to see this video a few times. It's pretty powerful. I, th I think it's a great video. TLC video. is known for the videos with their messages. And, uh, you know, today at number nine, here's TLC with Unpretty. Check it out. Right here on TRL. Hey, what's up? We're back on TRL. And uh, 
If there was any, ever any confusion about uh, TRL being a live show, I think we're dispelling all myths today because uh, Jeff and I are doing our fair, That's fair right. share of screwing up. The but number nine, that was TLC with Unpretty. And uh, right now, Jeff got somebody in the audience who, uh, who's got something to say now. That's right. You have a question? Yeah. I'm a I, was, I heard you guys were doing a duet. I was just wondering with who and when is it going to come out? Well, Nick and I and the other guys are, have, are fortunate enough to have the uh, opportunity to do a duet with Mariah Carey. Oh, and wow. we're actually recording it tomorrow. And also Joe is going to be featured on the artist. Probably the best R&B singer, I think, of all time. I love the guy. Um, so we're very excited about that. And That's really cool. She's a great singer. Yeah, yeah, she's unbelievable. I mean, we vitalized her as a singer for a long time. And uh, it's just a great opportunity for us. I think it would be a good song. Thank you. And yeah, for those of you who know anything about our career, uh, Stevie Wonder was another huge influence that we got to work with. And Mariah Carey is just another dream of 98 Degrees that's, uh, that's coming true. So right now, stick around on TRL because we've got the rest of the top 10 plus Christina Aguilera and coming up next we got LL Cool J and Mia Long when TRL continues. Welcome back to TRL. Jeff and Nick here from 98 Degrees. Uh, we're filling in for caution. We see all these fans, and all these fans came out to see our first guest, actor LL Cool J, who stars in the new hit movie, In Too Deep, which comes out Wednesday. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, the movie looks great. How does it feel to hear the word actor in front of your name? Do you, how do you feel about good. that? It feels like I'm expanding, like I'm moving to different heights, new levels, doing different things. I enjoy it. Never limit yourself, you know? Right, your character, you play a character called God. Yeah. I mean, and, and that, that, those are some big shoes to fill. God. <laughs> I mean, how do you feel about that? I mean, I mean you did it actually. infinite job size shoe, right? We've seen you in lots of movies, and I must say, this is the best I've ever seen you. I think you're doing great. Thanks, man. You know, playing the character God was, was, was interesting because, but it was the right name for the character, because actually he's the opposite of God. He's real evil, he's real negative, but it's a good opportunity for everybody to see how people can worship themselves and how you can have a tendency to worship the wrong things. You know, a lot, a lot of times we have gods in our life that we worship, whether it be money, cars, jewelry, whatever you like. False idols. You know, you know, false idols. And I think that this is the perfect opportunity for people to be a fly on the wall and see what goes on in, in, in the inner city and really feel it feel the vibe and just see what it's really about you know so it was the right it was the right character name you know right on man we loved it we thought it was thank great. you thank cool. you well right now let's check out our number eight request here's kid rock with cowboy on trl Yeehaw! oh yes the lovely and talented mariah carey debuting at number seven with heartbreaker and right now i want everybody to give a warm welcome for miss nia long yeah. who also stars in the movie in too deep how you doing, Nia? I'm great. What do you, Ella, what do you think about Mariah kicking some ass in that video? <laughs> I, I'm trying to figure out if they was fighting over backstage passes or not, right? <laughs> now, now Nia, in the movie, you and LL play opposites of the spectrum. I mean, he's like this evil guy, and you're like this, this, <laughs> this great angel from above. How did you guys deal with that? Well, you know, I have the most frequent question I have is, what was it like to work with LL? And the truth is, we never even saw each other on on the set. Really? So. Well, let me formally introduce you. This <laughs> is LL. No, That's me. You guys you are in a movie to together. Yeah, I do a lot of things. And there you go. <laughs> well. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was great. It was Jeff great. Jeff and I just leave now. We'll let these two get up. <laughs> All right, coming up next, we got Christina coming up, and uh, for your and more of your request, and uh, we'll be right here. When TRL continues. <laughs> All right. I'm going to do this right. I know I'm going to be able right. to do this. Here we are in the lovely New York City on TRL. Some nice Man, signs out there. 98 degrees cakes. That's what I'm talking Possibly about. We have some great fans I can use out some there. of that right now. A little hungry. Right, right yeah. now, we're, we're filling in for Carson, who, uh, who's hosting the Miss Tina USA. That's, That's a really right. tough job. It's got to be a tough job. Who else is coming to see us today on TRL? Well, actually, we've got uh, Christina Aguilera coming up in a little bit. But right, right now, we're joined by Neil Long and LL Cool J from the movie In Too Deep, which comes out in theaters on Wednesday. Yeah. Now, LL plays God. You play a character named Myra. T can you tell us a little bit about her? Sure, I play Myra. I am Omar Epps' love interest. And in this film, I represent the peace and the love in the story. All right. Um, I'm probably the polar opposite of this 
<laughs> sexy man over here. You doing? You doing? Um, you, you know what you're doing in the morning. Right, we want to remind our viewers. We want to remind our viewers that Omar is going to be in the studio tomorrow. Yes, he Hosting is. TRL with all of us. And uh, now tell us a little bit more. I'm a dancer. I'm a ballet dancer. I'm also a nude model. <laughs> a nude model? Yeah. Let the really? games begin. Well, <laughs> <laughs> no, we, had, we had a chance yeah, to yeah. check out a little of the... This movie is in theaters on Wednesday. Go check it out. Go check it out. It's yeah. a lot of fun. It's hot. It's a thousand degrees. <laughs> We're going together. We're going to see the movie. Me and 98 Degrees. Right. We're running hooking. through the, every theater in New York. If you're not at the theaters, you're not going to catch us. We're doing it. It's hot. It's in too deep. <laughs> That's right. You gotta be there. It's official. That's right. Now you uh, you trained a little bit to be a boxer in this movie. Yeah, what, yeah, what, yeah. What, what uh, went into I, some of that? I actually trained with a gentleman named Garth Redwood. He's an incredible Thai boxer. Um, in I just got in good shape. Did a lot of fighting, right, right. boxing. Ladies, I've been having a good time. I've been having a good time. I've been having a good time. I'm sure the ladies will enjoy all what, of that. What Justin. kind of training did you do for your dancing part? Well, I. You know what? I took a ballet class, and many years ago I used to do toe in ballet, and um, the class was going right, I was going to my left, so there you have it. We know the feeling. Yes. Trust me, trust me. <laughs> but right now we're going to check out LFO at number six today with Summer Girls on TV. Check it out. Yeah, yeah. We're going to say goodbye to our guest. NQD, baby. August 25th, 1,000 degrees, NQD, coming to a theater near you. Yes, yes. That's LFO moving up two spots, number six today with Summer Girls. And jo yeah. joining us now is the lovely Christina Aguilera. Hey, Yes, guys. what's up, Christina? Oh, yeah. Whose debut album comes out tomorrow? Mind you, it's going to be yes. in stores tomorrow, so make sure you run out and check that out. Yeah, I'm Christina, I got a question for you. Yeah. Now, you know, you went from just having one song out to now having the song Genie and the Bottle out to exploding to this mega pop star I all know, of a sudden. It's now, crazy. now, tell us about your last six weeks of your life. Um, How's it changed? God, the last six weeks, I've. Oh, they're oh, they're so cheer great. for you. They love you. <laughs> Crowd's going wild. Look at them. They love you. Oh, they're so cute. Um, it, a different city every day. It's it's really crazy. I mean, like, actually, this is sort of where because I used to watch Tierra like every day while recording the album, and that was you know a few you know a couple months ago, and now it's like I'm on, and you know so that's one thing that's changed, of course, and it's it's awesome, and now I've had all these you know people. It's really really cool. It's a great yeah. feeling, isn't it? it? Feels great. Amazing. amazing. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, do we, uh, we have someone on the floor right now for a question. Uh, we got Abby in uh, in Michigan, is it? What's up, Abby? Hi. What's up? How are you? Hi, Abby. Hey, how are you? Great. Good, how are you? I'm great. Um, actually, well, I have a question for 98 Degrees. All right, shoot. Okay. Um, when are you guys going to have your new album out, and what kind of stuff can we expect on it? Well, that's an excellent question. Actually, we have a, uh, a Christmas album coming out this year. It's going to come out on October 19th. Uh, we just finished up recording not too long ago, about two or three weeks ago. So uh, you can look out for that. We've also got a book coming out, a uh, home video coming out. And uh, we'll start working our next new album probably early next year. So That's oh, right. So check that out. You know, it's a very classy, traditional album. So thanks okay. a lot for calling. Okay, thanks, thanks, Abby, for hey, calling. Hey, can I just tell you something? Yeah. Uh -oh. i got to tell you that my mom loves you. Her mom loves you, Nick. Nick Thanks, my mom. Mom loves you, mother's a fan. You, mom. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thanks, Abby, for calling. Right now, at number five today, we've got Christina with Jeannie in a bottle, and uh, we're going to ah. talk a little bit about this video. Yeah. Oh, oh. We want to take a minute, talk about the video. We understand it uh, looks a little colder, or it was actually a little colder it than it looks. It was very, very, very cold. Um, it was freezing. It was a nighttime video, and uh, it was shot. Uh, oh, we, we did an all-night shoot from 4 p.m. until 7 in the morning, and, uh... <laughs> you, look, you look pretty warm right there. How did you, like, play that off? <laughs> um, well, there was lots of lights and lots of cameras and a lot of faking. You have to fake the, uh, hotness. It was a hot video, right. but... Yeah. Well, you look amazing. You look Thank wonderful. You. Here's Thank your you. video. Christina at number 5 today with Jeannie in the bottle. Yeah, yeah. Here's Christina with number five, Jeannie in a bottle. Christina's album comes out tomorrow in stores. Uh, now, who did the da the dancing in that video is great. Who did the Thank choreography? Uh, well, the, actually, there's a lot of confusion about who actually choreographed the video for Jeannie in a bottle, but it's an amazing, amazing choreographer, Jermaine Brown, who did all the choreography, and he's so hot right now. And he's only 23. He's so great. Love you, Jermaine. Young and talented, and right now we have somebody with Nick that has a question for you, Nick. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you uh, go ahead and tell everybody your name first off and uh, ask your question. I'm Dahlia from New Jersey, and hi, Christina. Um, my question is about your, your video. Um, I was wondering what the lyrics in the song really meant, because people have all these weird ideas about them. Everybody misconstrues the lyrics. Well, of course, um, a lot of people perceive the song as being very sexual, and, you know, it, it does tap on, you know, being sexy, of course, but it, I think it taps on a subject, uh, you know, the lyrics are, um, 
I'm a genie in a bottle, you gotta rub me the right way, which is really, you have to treat me the right way. So really it's a song about self-respect for females. And it's like, I'm not gonna give my way, my love away that easily. You know, you gotta work a little harder to get it. So it's a song about playing a little hard to get, which I think is, is a really good message to young girls. Yeah, right? yeah that's, cool. that's a Thanks. great message. Thank you for the question. Yeah. Thank you for the answer. Sure. And stick around because we've got more with Christina, our second TRL debut of the day, and the rest of the top ten <laughs> when Monday's TRL continues. Stick around, don't leave anywhere. Yes. We're back in Christina Mania is taking over Times Square. You can see how people spend hours working on their signs. And right here, we're with the woman of the hour, Christina. Yeah. Pleasure again to have you on the show. Thank you. And uh and we know kind of from experience that when you do an album, it's, it's, it's a real intense experience. It's right. a lot of hard work, a right. lot of hours. And uh, sometimes, you, you know, your favorite songs or your most enjoyable songs, they change mm -hmm. over time. Uh, right now, what are, your, what are some of your favorite songs on the album? And have uh, any of them changed at all? Or? On my album, there's actually a, a really big ballad. It was actually written by Diane Warren, and it'll wow. probably release either... Probably, if not second, then third single later uh, around January. And um, it's a really heartfelt ballad called I Turn To You, which will be on the album tomorrow. So um, it, it's, it's really, really cool. It's one yeah. of my favorite albums. Now, it's coincidentally, we've actually had a chance to work with some of the same producers in we our have, career. We we have. Have. The guys that wrote Genie in the Bottle uh, yeah, yeah. also mm -hmm. wrote The Hardest Thing for Us. Steve Kippen and David Frank. Talented guys. Exactly. Cool guys. Very talented. Now, we've got a letter from one of your fans right now. Uh, yeah. Do you want to read it for us? Um, yeah, I have a letter right here. It says, uh, Dear Carson, I'm writing to say that I am a big fan of Christina Aguilera, thank you, and her song, Genie in a Bottle. I enjoy collecting pictures of Christina, just like I love collecting pictures of Britney. She's great, too. They both are beautiful and talented women that drive me crazy. I am writing to ask a question about Christina Aguilera's video, Genie in a Bottle. I have noticed that when she's laying on the beach singing, she is wearing a tropical-looking shirt. I know she is half Spanish, yeah, but would like to know from what country. Well, my father's from uh, Ecuador, South America, so I am half Latina, and um, <laughs> you're so cute. And uh, I'm a half American Irish as well on my mother's side, so half and half. Wow. Nice little mix. Now, what was it like working with uh, Britney Spears? I mean, did you enjoy her? <laughs> Britney Spears' question. She's great. She, she was, yeah. I'm not surprised at her su success at all because she's, she was always very hardworking and, and driven on the show. And, um, you know, it's just crazy that we're both coming out at the same time. And, you know, a lot of people want to create competition between us, but really, she, yeah. she's amazing and there's room for all of us. That's excellent. Awesome. It's a great attitude to have. And thanks for the letters. You know, all the fans send letters for us and all the other groups and you, and we love that here at MTV. Now, let's get back to the request. And you guys put us at number four today. What happened? <laughs> No number one? I, I don't know. <laughs> oh, here it is. I do. Right here on TRL. But it's good. Stick around. <laughs> yeah, that was yours truly, 98 to 3. at number four today with I Do. And uh, right now we've got a question from someone in the audience. Uh, question from somebody in the audience. Hi, my name's Shannon. And I was just wondering, what do you guys bring on the road with you for comfort when you get home sick? What do we bring on the road? Well, I know Nick never leaves home without his teddy bears. That's one thing he takes with him <laughs> everywhere he goes. True to my heart. <laughs> yes, true to my heart. No, seriously, I mean, CDs are very important. Music is very important. Christina, what do you, what do you bring on the road? I bring, well, my mommy makes me these little boxes with her perfume scent in them. So Aww. when I open them, I smell my mommy's perfume. Oh, I miss you, mommy. Man. I haven't seen you in a while. And um, I bring Nestle's Quick on the road, too, because I love it. I very love it. <laughs> I know, it's crazy. <laughs> Very, very good. Thanks for the question, and let's get to our number three request, and here are the totals. 21% 20 of phone calls, 17% of your emails, and debuting at number three today is Tom Green. Yeah? Right here, debuting on TRL at number three. Now, Tom Green pleaded <laughs> no, and begged uh. for his video to be number three. He said he would have the first uh. one, number one song Is without that what we word. have to do? Is so let's get down on our knees. Please, and please, make that do number one. Why? And debuting number three, here's Tom Green with the bum bum song. <laughs> hey, what's up? That My was Tom Green. Debuting <laughs> number three with the bum bum song. My very, bum very is funny. on the car. What do you think of the oh bum God. bum song, really? I mean, um, it's got a good hook, kind of. It's pretty silly. It's pretty silly. I can't very believe it's musical, it, yeah. it uh, beat you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I can believe it. You know what? Because Tom three. Green is one funny individual. He's hilarious yeah. here on MTV. Now, we've just been informed that next Monday on the uh, House of Style Back to School edition, Christina will be featured on that program. Mm -hmm. And I just want to ask you, you know, obviously you're not going to be going back to school this fall. Right, so right. Uh, so what exactly are you going to be doing all fall? Yeah, I just graduated. So I guess I'll, I'll be out promoting the record. Um, yeah. I have a lot of things coming up. I have uh, 
dates with uh, Letterman, Leno, and Rosie, and Leno 210 on September 15th, which wow. will be exciting. Those are all very small shows. So, I mean, you have <laughs> to be a guy to find when those are. No, congratulations. That's great. We're also doing the House of Style thing for the Back to School special. Yeah. I'm trying on coats with Rebecca Romain, so it's kind of funny. What did you guys do? We did something about school picture makeovers was our thing. So. <laughs> yeah, and, and we also want to remind people again that your album is going to be in stores tomorrow. Tomorrow, your check it out. Album. Tomorrow. It's going to be a big smash. You better run out and get it before they're all sold out. Congratulations on everything. You're doing great. Thank you very Enjoy much. It. Thank you. Thanks for stopping by. We'll be right back to finish out the top ten on TRL. Take it easy. show on MTV where you guys at home decide which videos are shown. I'm Jeff from 98 Degrees. I'm here with my man Nick and we're filling in for Carson today. And we still got a lot of signs out there and uh, we want to give a big heads up that each day this week after TRL, MTV Sports presents All-Star League. That's a four-day competition where celebrities like Method Man, Red Man, Sean Wayans, and Jennifer Aspen from Party of Five will battle it out to be crowned the ultimate celebrity athlete of 1999. Today at 4.30, it all kicks off with Sporty 40, where people like Brittany, Leo, Fred Durst, Jennifer Lopez will be honored as the best celebrity athletes of our time. Now joining us with the news is John Norris. A guy who's yeah. not a celebrity athlete. Get out of right? here, John. Come on. What's up, guys? How's it going? So Jennifer Lopez is an athlete. I didn't realize Oh, that. yeah, man. I was, oh, she right. can be whatever she All wants. All right, yes. We'll talk about that sport yeah. later. <laughs> All right, guys. We got news first off on the Video Music Awards, the big night of the year, of course, of MTV. Yep. 9 nine ninety nine. it's happening this year, and we got more names added to the list of performers as of today. Britney Spears, Eminem, and Moby are all on board for this year's Video Music Awards going to be performing. And some presenters announced as well, including, this isn't all of them, Jennifer Lopez, NSYNC, Gavin Rossdale from Bush, and I guess the queen of the Video Music Awards, Madonna, will be on hand as well, September 9th. So quite a lineup there on September 9th at the Video Music Awards. In the meantime, a huge week in record stores. A lot of new releases coming out tomorrow, including Christina's album, which she talked about already. And I guess uh, certainly no more anticipated album coming out this week than Puff Daddy's Forever, which I think you guys have yeah, copies of. Right, we have a copy. I, I do believe. A sneak right preview. They've been hooked up already. Get there you go. It is called Forever. And uh, Puffy's actually going to be here tomorrow to talk about the record and more. But in the meantime, our own Chris Connolly talked to him not too long ago. And Puff said, among other things, that he feels like that he's taken it up a notch artistically and lyrically with this record. And he also said that, not, you know, not too surprisingly, he's got a lot of guest performers on the right. album with him. But he said this time it wasn't just, he didn't just throw any all-stars in there. He said that they had to make sense. Check it out. I wanted to make a movie on Wax with a lot of different co-stars, but I wanted, I didn't want it to be a compilation record. I wanted, if he was going to come on the record with me, you had, no matter how big you were, and no matter how big we, we were together, you had to be produced within this movie. It had to go together within this movie. And so, you know, everybody rode with me, from R. Kelly to Jay-Z to Biggie to Busta to Redman. And, and it's not like just a bunch of records and I call my friends. The whole thing fits into one big movie. All right, Puffy, don't forget, he'll be uh, here on TRL tomorrow. In the meantime, some other releases real quickly coming out tomorrow. LFO, their debut album. Of course, it includes Summer Girls, and no doubt Abercrombie and Fitch's stock will rise the next day. <laughs> we got Seven Dust, their second album, the Atlanta hard rock band. Their second album is called Home. They're out on the road right now with Power Man 5000 and Stain and Skunk and Nancy. In fact, they're playing New York City tomorrow night. Also, Filter's second album, another great hard rock band. It's called Title of Record. You may have seen Welcome to the Fold. That's the video. It's been on MTV recently. Another track on there, also called Take a Picture, is actually a tune that was based on a real experience. The guitarist from Filter, Richard Patrick, a couple years ago, got really trashed on an airplane, on a flight back, an uh, international flight, and he basically took off all his clothes and wow. um, was not yeah. arrested, surprisingly. That doesn't surprise me. Nick does stuff like that on the plane right? all the time. He can't get to stop doing that. <laughs> really? So I'm just guys. naturally <laughs> insane. I don't even need a drink. It just happens. I don't understand why. All right, guys, that's it for the news. Thanks, Thanks very man. much. Hey, John, good, good to see right. you. Thanks a lot. You. A lot going on. You guys are getting good at this. I say uh, you uh, stay all week. We told you, but they told us we're fired as soon as we get done today. <laughs> there you go. Thanks a lot, John. Right. Now let's check out the totals for your number two request. Phone calls 23% and 20% of your emails. Falling back number two today, it's Limp Biscuit with Nookie on TRL. <laughs> right on. Limp Biscuit. Yeah, Limp Biscuit at number two with Nookie. And in a moment, we've got your number one video coming up. But first, let's check out today's close calls. 
Welcome back to TRL. We've got your number one request coming up in a minute as we wrap, wrap up today's request. But first, let's recap the other nine videos on today's shows. Here are number six through ten. Blix holds it number ten. TLC back a few spots. Mariah debuting at number seven thanks to you guys. And here are numbers two through five. And Christina kicked off the top five. We were in at number four. Tom Green debuts today at number three with the Bum Bum song. And Limp Biscuit falls back to number two today. Very cool. Now let's check out the totals for the number one request. 32% of your phone calls, 29% of your emails, and reclaiming the number one spot today, it's our friends Insync and Gloria Estefan. Here's Music of Our Hearts at number one. Yeah, yeah. Number one on TRL. That's Insync and Gloria Estefan. Look, she's right over here. Gloria Estefan in our studio audience, folks. <laughs> Back at number one today with Music of My Heart. Now, if you'd like to vote for your favorite video, you can either call 1-800-DIAL-MTV weekdays between 2.30 and 3 p.m. or go online to mtv.com or AOL keyword MTV and click under the shows. While you're there, vote for the question of the week. Yeah, yeah. We want to take this time to thank LL Cool J, Nia Long, and Christina Aguilera for stopping by. And be sure to check out uh, tomorrow. Omar Epps is going to be hosting, and he'll be joined by Puff Daddy, whose album comes out tomorrow. That's wonderful. And we'll leave you with some people from the aisle of MTV pleading to make their favorite videos on TRL tomorrow. And reminding you, we have a book. Coming up check September out, 7th, 98 Degrees Official Biography. Go check it out. Thanks for stopping by. We love you. God bless.